Warming up to idioms, heating things up in English. Hello and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of English idioms. Specifically, we're going to explore the phrase, heating things up. Idioms are a vital part of English, adding color and depth to our conversations. So, let's get started and unravel the mystery of this interesting expression. In this section, we'll delve into what idioms are. An idiom is a phrase where the words together have a meaning that is different from the dictionary definitions of the individual words. This can often be confusing for English learners because the literal translation might not make much sense. Idioms are used extensively in English and are an important part of everyday language. Now, let's focus on the phrase, heating things up. This idiom can be used in several contexts. Generally, it means to make something more exciting, intense, or passionate. It can refer to a variety of situations, from cooking to relationships, and even to competition or debate. The key here is the idea of increasing intensity or excitement. In this section, we'll look at some examples of how heating things up can be used in everyday conversations. 1. In cooking, let's heat things up a bit by adding some spicy peppers to this recipe. 2. In relationships, their last date really heated things up between them, they seem much closer now. 3. In sports or competition, the game was quite dull in the first half, but the players really heated things up after the break. 4. In business or discussion, the debate was going nowhere until Joanna heated things up with her groundbreaking ideas. It's important to remember that idioms like heating things up should be used in the right context. Here are some tips. Understand the context. Make sure the situation is appropriate for the idiom. Listen to native speakers. Pay attention to how they use it in conversations. Practice. Try using the idiom in your daily English conversations or writing. And that's a wrap on heating things up. I hope this video has helped clarify this idiom for you and added a new expression to your English vocabulary. Remember, idioms are not just phrases. They're a window into the culture and humor of the language. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be using English idioms like a native speaker. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.